today, Earthlings. I am your today's teacher for Introduction to Stylistic, Andrea Punteras. I just need a few minutes of your time to listen and let's know more about Polysemy. More, most of the students can identify the synonyms and the antonyms of a certain word, but there is an instances that a word can consider and describe to be a polysemy. What is polysemy? Let's first discuss the synonym, the antonym, until we go down to our main topic, which is the polysemy. Synonym. One of two or more words or expressions of the same language that have the same or nearly the same meaning in some or all senses. Way back then, I was confused whether a word is a synonym or as an antonym. So, I made an intervention for myself. S stands for synonyms, means the same, and A stands, of course, for antonym, means adverse. Until now, I use that strategy to remember some things. So, let's go back. I use some example for you to understand the synonym very well. Example, a girl. It could be a lady, a woman, a female, a bachelorette, a wife, a widow, or briefly, we can say that the one who has a reproductive system. More often, synonyms are appropriate to use in writing an essay, either a thesis writing or if you need to write something to avoid redundancy. Next, we have antonym. A word of opposite meaning, a contrary meaning of something. For instance, the undying example of beautiful, ugly, big and small, generous, greedy, naughty, behave. I have a few questions for you, my fellow earthlings. What is the antonym of intelligent? Whatever is on your mind, it is correct. But for me, the antonym of intelligent is soon to be a cracker jack. Take a note of that. Let's proceed. To this. Let's proceed. Let's move the discussion to polysemy. Polysemy. It is a word or phrase with different but related senses. Senses. Since the test for polysemy is vague concept of relatedness, judgment of polysemy can be difficult to make. You know, in, in studying English, we need to dig deep, to dig deeper, to understand the linguistic form of a word, sentence, or a phrase. The complexity of polysemy may occur by using a word. I will explain it by using some se by using some examples. Example. The word get. Shaina get her bag. The word get in our first example used as verb. Shaina got annoyed. Do you get it? Do you get it? The word get here means to understand. Do you understand it? The word head. It's either a human part, a peak of something, a head of something, a leader, head leader. It could be a manager or a CEO, a top, or a beginning. See, polysemy can use several times in several purposes. And polysemy, they say it is the same as homonymy. A word or expression that can be understood in two or more possible way. Homon homonymy, it is the two words that are spelled the same and sound the same but have different meanings. Example, a pen. It could be an instrument for writing or a pen, an area for animals. A bat, an instrument to play baseball or an animal who lives in the cave. A bear. An animal or other term for carry. We have kinds of polysemy, and these are regular polysemy, irregular polysemy, radial polysemy, and chain polysemy. In our next discussion, we will discuss further the kinds of polysemy, but now I hope and pray that you are safe at home amidst this trying time. May the Lord be with us. Goodbye.